Heroes of the USA. Veterans are people who serve in the military in times of war or peace. Veterans have served in one of these branches. As you read, um, each of the branches highlight their jobs. The Army is the oldest and largest branch of the military. The Army is the Army uses round trips to um, protect the United States. They have the largest helicopter wing and all the services. Marines are trained to fight by sea and land. The Marine Corps is often the first service on the ground to combat so solutions situations situations the marines are supported by the navy they, as they do not have any medical workers the navy defends our rights to use the oceans or travel and trade they use aircraft carriers so that they can have a runaway at sea for their aircraft navy seals seals are some of the most elite fighters the air force protects america in the air space or carbon space they operate aircraft and helicopters the air force per provides air support during ground missions the coast guard protects americans coast and waterways and develops with navy with the navy during wars during times of peace they deal with boat safety sea rescues and uh, legal immigration 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 by sea is that the end no why do we celebrate veterans day world war one was a huge war early in 1900s over 65 million men and more and more than eight nations fought in this war. The war, World One, ended on November 11th, 1918. This day was called Armistice Day. Armistice. Armistice Day is an agreement made by opposing sides in the war to stop fighting. It was. It was a celebration of the war to end all wars. In 1921, the unknown soldier, an unknown soldier from World War I was buried in Arlington National Cemetery in Revenge, Revenge. The tomb of the unknown soldier became a place to show respect and thanks for Americans veterans. A red poppy became a symbol of World War I because these red flowers bloomed on the worst battlefield during the war. Their color became a symbol of the blood spilled in the war. More history of Veterans Day. Only a few years after Armistice Day officially got its name, World War II broke out in Europe. 16.5 million Americans fought in this war, and 407,000 of them died. President Is Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Eisenhower realized that there were were more many more veterans to honor besides those who fought in World War One. So in nineteen fifty four, a year after the end of the 
Korean War, he proclaimed November 11th as Veterans Day. More unknown heroes were buried near the tomb of the unknown soldier to honor these men who symbolize Americans who gave their lives in wars and army guard keeps watch over the tomb day and night. Veterans are heroes who fight for our freedom every day. We need to show them our appreciation. Our appreciation. Do you know a veteran? Thank them. Write a letter to a veteran. Go. Um. Do you know a veteran? Yeah. Who do you know that's a veteran? Uncle John and Uncle James. And what do you think you should say to them? Thank you. Thank you for what? <laughs> protecting America. And in turn, protecting you and your freedoms and your abilities to timeline, grow up in a country. Timeline of like Veterans this. Day, 1918, World War One. Okay, ended. we're not going to go through the timeline. 19th. Is there anything else you want to say to your uncles? Thank you. I love you guys.